Remove and clean the burn pot every time the hopper is filled with fuel. Shut down the stove and allow it to fully cool before touching components inside the burn chamber and ash pan area. To empty the burn pot, lift it out of the cradle and empty the contents directly into the ash pan to either side. Be sure to scrape and remove any buildup and ensure all of the holes in the burn pot are unobstructed. Using an Allen wrench or drill bit can aid you if these get plugged through general use. Reseat the burn pot, making sure that the igniter port hole is toward the back and that the burn pot clears the front catch and sits flush on the cradle. A gap between the burn pot and the cradle can alter the airflow and cause inefficiency. Be sure to empty the ash pan regularly as needed. The frequency will vary depending on the amount of fuel being burned, but typically once a week is sufficient. Keep the ashes in a closed metal container away from any combustible material until the ash has completely cooled. When replacing the ash pan, ensure that the side latches close firmly and have close to equal pressure on each side. One side being significantly looser than the other can cause gaps which can alter the airflow and cause inefficiency. Clean the interior chamber regularly as needed. Typically, this is done when the ash pan is emptied. First, clean the heat exchanger with the pre-installed scraper by running the chrome knob in and out a few times. This will cause the dust and ash to fall down toward the burn pot and ash pan. Then, open the front door and thoroughly clean the main chamber with an ash vacuum. You can also take this opportunity to clean the front glass. A vinegar solution or other non-abrasive glass cleaner and a soft cloth should be all you need. The glass should be allowed to cool before cleaning. Never spray liquids directly onto hot glass. Remove the burn pot from the cradle and vacuum beneath. Be sure to remove any ash buildup in and around the igniter tube. When cleaning the igniter tube, ensure that the igniter rod does not get nudged out of position. See our igniter troubleshooting video for more details on this topic. There is also a heat shield plate installed just below the heat exchange tubes inside the main chamber. Make sure that the gapped opening at the front of this plate is kept clear of any buildup or debris, as this could impede the airflow and cause inefficiency. On the HP-61, there are a total of three cleanouts. One on the right below the air intake, and two on the left by the exhaust. It is important that these rear exhaust chambers are thoroughly cleaned out after every ton of pellets burned. If these are not kept clean, your stove may experience some of the following symptoms. Weak, dirty, or lazy flame during operation, pellets backing up in the pot and not burning efficiently, or excess smoke and a delay during ignition. Once you have located the chamber covers, you will then remove them by unscrewing the wing nuts and pulling the cover plate back. There is a gasket behind the plates to ensure an airtight seal. If the gasket sticks to the stove, it is okay to cut through the center of the gasket to access the chamber behind. So long as there is adequate gasket material around the perimeter, it will provide a proper seal. Using a slender hose attachment on your ash vac, thoroughly vacuum out those chambers. These chambers extend all the way to the heat exchange tubes near the top of the stove, so it is imperative that the entire chamber is cleaned top to bottom. Using a sweeping motion with the hose extension or a flexible cleaning brush will ensure that no area is neglected and as much of the ash and debris is removed as possible. If you need to purchase an ash vacuum or cleaning brushes, check our website. Links will be in the description. The exhaust venting and combustion motor, housing, and impellers should be inspected and cleaned periodically. The exhaust piping should be inspected annually while the combustion fan may only need thorough cleaning every other year. Loosen and remove the four wing nuts that secure the combustion motor assembly to the housing. Carefully pull the round plate away from the housing, avoiding damage to the gasket and fan blades beneath. Brush the fan blades carefully with a paintbrush and thoroughly clean the exhaust housing. When reassembling, do not over tighten the wing nuts. And that's it, you're all set. Thanks for watching, until next time on Pellet Tech Talk.